Okay, I have a new transition here. It's called Fade with Freeze Frame. Just drag this out. Okay, once you add the transition, you should select it and you need to decide which way you're going to go with this. There's two different ways of handling this. One is to freeze the incoming video and then fade out and the other way is to go from a solid color and fade into the outgoing video and they can both be handled with this one transition and you use a timeline pin here now what you want to do is line up the timeline pin with the beginning of the transition for the fade out effect so that when it gets to the pin it's going to freeze the frame and then gradually fade out over the course of the transition you can adjust the offset of the fades if I set this to zero it should begin fading right away and if I set the end offset I can have it fade out at a particular point on the timeline so that's the easiest way to do this let's see there's a curvature in here to create a kind of ease in ease out if I set the curvature to zero it's going to be more linear alright so that's the fade out and that's basically how you can figure out exactly where you want it to start to fade you can set the timeline and start moving this and as soon as you can detect any bit of a fade then that's where it'll start move to the end you can move the end offset right there that's where it will be faded out and that's the fade out to use this as a fade in you set the timeline pin to one frame past the end of the transition so that it selects the next clip zoom in on this a little better right there and select fade in and the same things apply to adjust the volume of the clips you can right click on the clip and expand audio right click expand and then determine where you want the sound to begin or end and just trim that right there and trim this one in so that it starts while it's still still if you want I would adjust a fade in you can pull this little controller here to adjust the fade in and you can right click on it to pick the kind of fade in you want so I don't have audio turned on for this right now so you can't hear that the only other aspect of this that you might want to consider is a fade out and a fade in and to do that I recommend adding a gap so you can press the P key down and click on your outgoing clip and move it out I think the default time of the transition is about five seconds so you would need that, that much time in between to apply two freezes so I need more than that you can trim the gap afterwards So for this one I'd have a fade out and let's 
end it quickly. If you need more, you can click and drag on the number. And for the fade in, I will go ahead. Freeze, fade, fade in, and start. You can adjust the length of the transition by clicking near the edge and pulling in. And as soon as this renders, I'll play through it. Okay, the timeline pin was just a little off on the. Oh, it's way off on this one. All right. Okay, there you go. That's how to use this particular transition. Hope you find it useful. I'll catch you on the next one.